just wanted to document a problem I had a little while ago. Uh, so the what? fridge, I'm talking to the video. The fridge was not cooling down um, and the burners weren't going on. Like when you twisted it, it, uh, it wasn't filling in the gas. And I looked down at the propane and I could see that my, uh, my gauge was open and uh, there was this regulator and I had read online that regulators, regulators go bad like every 10 years and it, it looks kind of old. Um, and the, uh, so I checked inside on the gas gauge and it had gas and LP, found out LP is liquid propane. Um, and I said the LP was full, so I was wondering if that was uh, a mistake or something and why gas was different because gas said that it was empty. I'm still not sure what that is actually. Um, but then I looked on the thing, the, the gas gauge on here, and that uh, also said it was almost full. Um, and I could not figure out what the problem was, so it turns out that the carbon monoxide slash gas detector has to be switched to on for the gas to be flowing as a, as a safety measure, I guess. And so uh, once that happened, it beeped for a little while, and then this light started flickering, showing that it was on. And then, after a few seconds, I uh, was able to twist the burners here, and I heard them going on again. And then after I switched the fridge back on, and the fridge still confuses me. Uh, but for it to be on, you have to press this button so that it turns on, so this button's down, and then have this up so that it only goes on gas. And uh, once that happened, I heard the clicking outside from the lighter on the propane fuel nozzle, I'm not sure what it's called, uh, inside of here. Started clicking on and after a few tries it actually turned on and I don't know if it's showing up on the on the video but there's a nice clean blue flame there even though uh, there's a lot, <laughs> a lot of rust and dirt back here that uh, we should clean up. But now this thing is is really hot which I think is now making the, uh, the fluid in there uh, liquid something, liquid nitrogen, that's not right, um, is flowing and then because it's heating it's actually flowing and melting and then that creates cold spots in the vacuum and all the physics of, of fridges. Uh, so now I think, I think the fridge is actually working and I know the burners are working because we tested that. So went from thinking that we were gonna have to buy a new thousand dollar fridge and uh, debug the propane lines and clean those out or something to pushing a button and everything working. It was, uh, it was really cool. The end.